Okay, I'm going to begin to go through this review sheet over the Great Depression. Starting up here, get through as much as I can. Um, farmers in the 1920s, um, what you need to know is they were the ones that experienced um, the Depression first, and um, because of low crop prices, they were the ones that initially had um, the Great Depression. The business cycle, one of the most important things about the business cycle um, is the idea of contraction and expansion or um, recession and <clears throat> boom or bust. Um, but what really this question really asks is about the 1920s and what phase of the business cycle was the United States in. And that would be the expansion phase. Um, reasons for the stock market crash. Um, one of the main reasons for that would be the loss of confidence in the stock market. So um, the overall stock market expansion was completely based on confidence. So when they didn't have confidence and they began to shell, sell all their shares, that's why the stock market crashed. Okay, um, global depression. The global depression in relation to the Great Depression um, talks about basically you need to be able to know how we affected a global depression. So one of the main reasons that we um, affected the global depression was we stopped loaning to German um, to Germany and then Germany stopped paying um, France and Britain the war reparation payments. So that was our effect on the global depression because we stopped investing in anything overseas. Okay, factors in the Great Depression. Um, this is mainly focused on some of the reasons for it, and the main reasons being the loss of confidence in the stock market, and also um, the our economic problems were hidden hidden by the use of credit during right before the Great Depression. So Americans bought a lot of things on credit, so they didn't really perceive how bad the economic situation was. What was Black Tuesday? That was when um, the stock market crashed and 16 million shares of stock, stock were sold in one day. We consider that the day the stock market crashed. Um, <clears throat> banks closing. Why did banks close? It's because people withdrew their money um, all at the same time. That caused banks to close. How late smooth tariff? This tariff was really wasn't so much on the fact that we were charging on European goods, but it was the fact that the reaction of European countries was that they began to pass high protective tariffs towards us. So the importance of the Haley Smoot tariff, we enacted a tariff on European goods to protect American interest. So it made European goods cost more, but European countries made our goods cost more, and that had a negative effect on our economy. John Maynard Keynes, <clears throat> um, he talked about the economic conditions that caused the Great Depression, and he said it was the lack of government intervention in the economy, that the economy was allowed to run array without any government regulation. Unemployment, you should know that it increased, especially in urban areas. Um, and among African Americans, unemployment was double the national rate. So unemployment being 25% here, African Americans had it 50%. So they're minority group. <clears throat> the RFC. This question is a little bit complicated. Not only just understanding what the RFC was, but we talked about this in the lecture. The idea that Herbert Hoover believed that big businesses needed more money um, in order to grow and to solve the depression. So um, he said that the economy was suffering from a lack of credit. And that's why he instituted the Reconstruction Finance Corporation. <clears throat> Dust Bowl Migrants. See here, might have a few things out of line. 
Um, many of them went, this one's more focused on their destination, where they were headed, and they went to urban areas to find work primarily. Um, I don't know that I put this in here originally. Might have been up here with factors of the Great Depression, but there's another question here about um, the Great Depression being a problem because of capitalism. One of the factors people said the reason for the Great Depression was um, capitalism. Okay, bonus army. Um, basically, um, you need to know what happened. So, basically, the veteran groups marched in protest to Washington, and then um, the federal troops brought in, they tear gas and marched with their bayonets on the protesters, protesters and many of the veterans were injured, um, and it was a bad publicity, primarily for Hoover. So really, you need to be able to describe this event of the Bonus Army. There should be some stuff in your notes over that. <clears throat> All right, moving on to the second column over here on volunteerism. Volunteerism basically um, is when banks, businesses, and citizens that are wealthy what should work together to improve the economy. And this question really relates to why volunteerism didn't work. Um, so one of the reasons why is because people are selfish and they act in their best interest. They're self-motivated. And even in this case, they were um, self-motivated. So we have um, really the reason for the failure of volunteerism is what that question is asking about. Um, the civil service poor, um, that one was a New Deal program, and the goal of it was creating jobs for young men. That was its primary goal. We look at the Wagner Act. This question really asks, what was the Wagner Act about, and it allowed employees to join unions and the right to bargain collectively. So it's really a big impact for unions overall for the Wagner Act. These two look a little close on the review sheet, but they are not the same thing. They are two separate terms, just so you understand that. So understanding the pieces of the Wagner Act, it's in the notes also. Right. Uh, movies during the Great Depression, um, basically, um, how much did they cost? That was 15 cents. Why did people go to see them? Um, it was escapism and to leave the trials of the Great Depression. Um, I think I have two questions over that. We look at the WPA. <clears throat> um the WPA did more than one thing, but um, the question that I'm asking about is in relation to artists. So the WPA employed artists not only in the form of art, like creating murals in downtown areas, but also artists like singers and um, musicians and actors put them back to work. Writers, WPA was very connected to the arts, which is different than the PWA. And I don't have a question that's confusing you over those two since they are so close together. The effects of the New Deal. Um, this is kind of that slide where we I talked about kind of a summary. What was the overall effect of the New Deal? The government did gain more power and it had a more uh, greater role in the roles of individuals and individual freedom. So that was one of the overall impacts of the New Deal. Okay, um, might have got out of line here. The emergency banking bill. I'll come back up to the SEC. I think I just have them a little out of line here on my test. <clears throat> um, but the emergency banking bill was that four-day um, bank holiday that um, Roosevelt passed um, right after he was inaugurated. The first couple days after he was inaugurated, he had passed the emergency banking bill, and that allowed banks um, to, all banks in the entire country, to close for four days. 
so they could try to get their money back together and people could stop withdrawing. Now we'll come back up here to the SEC. The purpose of the SEC and why it was created um, was to regulate the stock market. So they wouldn't be able to speculate in the way they had done before and have these humongous uh, problems because of that. All right, we'll stop there and I'll finish the rest of this on the next video.